Welcome to Chalk Talk, I'm Chris Love. And I'm Jane Mackey. And this is the regular season finale, which means it's my last chance to remind you to get over to ussailing.org and sign up for your college US Sailing membership. The team that gets the most signups by the start of Spring Nationals, which is only two weeks away, is going to get their entire team outfitted with Sperry Topsider shoes. The current standings show Tufts, BC, American, and Fordham in the lead with ODU, Michigan, Roger Williams, and Stanford not far back. But I know that there are a lot of sleeper teams out there who have just been waiting for this opportunity to strike all at once. Well, wait no longer. It's time to go to ussailing.org slash college and sign up today. Well, Chris, this weekend we just have one regatta to recap on, and I was lucky enough to see a little bit of it in Annapolis, the ICSA, co-ed dinghy semi-finals qualifiers for nationals. 36 teams from around the country qualified to be at this regatta just to get the chance to go to nationals in two and a half weeks in Austin. These 36 teams are split into an eastern and a western semi-finals so there are 18 teams in each of these finals. The top nine from each of those groups go on to nationals so it was a great event, lots of teams, lots of buzz and um, very highly anticipated as to who will get those 18 spots for nationals. First up, let's take a look at the Western semi-finals. This was a really tight regatta with just 49 points separating the first team from the ninth team. St. Mary surprises us and finishes 10th, 18 points behind USF. Also a surprise, we didn't expect them to have much of a strong chance at getting in that top nine. Miami takes the win with a great performance, extremely consistent sailing from uh, their A division, Nick Voss, Cara Voss and Nicole Pope, finishing with just 62 points. SUNY ties with Harvard for third place, they lose the tiebreaker and finish fourth, sailing extremely well, um, much above our predictions. Harvard also proving to us that they can sail really well off the Charles River as well. And last thing to note is that Navy B wins their division at home. So congratulations to all these teams on making it through to the finals. Uh, we know that it's been a long road to get there. Turning now to the Eastern semifinal. The results here were much closer to what we predicted would happen last week. Of course, we underrated ODU who ended up finishing fifth, but you know, what else is new? However, we were a little bit off uh, when we said that this would be the harder regatta overall from qualifying at the bottom and the race for the win. Georgetown ends up winning this event by 15 points and beating the ninth place boat by 134. Now compare that to only a 49 point spread on the other side and this was much more spread out. The really close racing was between Charleston, ODU and Hobart with only one point separating each of those teams. So let's take a look at what was going on in the divisions. In A, it was an extremely tight finish with just 10 points separating the top six. Roger Williams, Alec Anderson and Sophie Bellicosa beat College of Charleston's Mac May, Sam Stokes and Perry MC by just two points. Another two points back on 70 points tied is ODU and Georgetown. In B Division, Evan Aris from Georgetown wins by 10 points over Stanford. Aris has to be pleased with his result, only two scores out of the top five and the lowest overall score of any boat in either regatta. So Jane goes seven for nine in the West, while I was eight for nine, both picking St. Mary's and skipping over USF. And in the East, we both had a perfect nine for nine for predictions. So I pick up one point overall, bringing the season total seven to three in favor of Jane. And this is gonna get me just close enough to pull out a possible tie after the four Nationals events are completed. Got to be perfect though. I'm looking forward to it, Jane. Let's take a look at this week's College Sailor of the Week. For the final U.S. Sailing College Sailor of the Week for the regular season, we have a unanimous vote from the panel. Congratulations, University of Miami, for winning the Western semifinals. This team went into the regatta with the outside perception of being underdogs, ranked 16th in the latest Sailing World College rankings. They finished 15 points ahead of Yale and are looking good as they enter the ICSA Gill Coed Dinghy National Championship in Austin. So what's next, you might ask? Well, we're pleased to announce that because of your support, 
US Sailing is going to make more episodes of Chalk Talk possible. We'll be bringing you four very special episodes of Chalk Talk Nationals Edition. Look out for a preview, two shows during the events, and one final season wrap-up. Jane, I'm glad we're doing these postseason episodes of Chalk Talk. It's going to get me pumped up for all the video coverage that I've got planned for the event. Thanks to McLaren, I'll be producing video highlights for one day of the women's semifinals and both days of finals at the ICSA Sperry Topsider Women's National Championship, as well as the first day of the ICSA APS Team Racing National Championship. And then for the final two days of team racing, I'll be producing live streaming video with close-ups of the racing and commentary. If you were lucky enough to catch Navy's presentation of semifinals this weekend, you already got a taste of the live streaming technology that's going to allow us to update you with text, photos, video clips, and live video all on one page. To check it out, go to the media link at 2012nationals.collegesailing.org. And a special treat, as part of this Nationals experience, Sailing World will be running a fantasy sailing league with a chance for you to win uh, lots of cool prizes. It's not out yet, but stay tuned to sailingworld.com or follow them on Facebook for details coming hopefully at the end of this week. It's been a wonderful regular season. Thanks to you all for your support and for US Sailing for making this show possible. We look forward to seeing you in two weeks for the main events we've all been waiting for.